Hey gorgeous, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly Lenora and today's video is a Foscara 101. If you don't know what Foscara is, it is, to keep it short, lash extension kit from your own home. Do your lashes at home and they can last up to 10 days. I am here to share with you all of my tips and tricks because I did just take a Foscara masterclass with celebrity makeup artist Ash K. Holmes. It was so fun. It was amazing. I learned so, so much. These are the lash extensions that I have on today and they're gonna last me for up to 10 days. Gorgeous, an everyday look, which is perfect for my work week coming up. I don't have to worry about mascara, yes. So let's cut down to the chase. We're gonna do this in natural lighting so you can see every single inch. And subscribe if you haven't, if you're new, I would love it. And let's do this 101. Okay, so I am so excited to show you everything that I learned. It's gonna be a fun time, but I'm gonna try to not make this super long. We're gonna, we're gonna learn, we're gonna you know just get to the point. So we are in natural lighting so you can see every single thing that goes on. Come a little closer. Okay, I have my Falscara, oh my goodness, Falscara starter kit. But all you need, really, if you're just trying this for the first time, all you need is this bad boy right here. These are the standard lashes that are gonna give you the nice everyday lash extension. You've got your holder here, your applicator, and you've got your bond and seal right here. This is what you need to start. This is all you need. There is a lot of extra that you can get but for starters, just grab this at your local drugstore. Super inexpensive, 19 bucks at Ulta Beauty, and I think it's like 19, like a couple cents less at like Walmart or whatever. And then once you figure out, you know, the kind of lash that you wanna wear, or just the look you're going for, and you decide that you really, really love this stuff, we can move on to all the extras that you can get. I mean, look at how dramatic you can get, and then look at how soft you can get. Like, there's so, so many options. But for today, let's just keep it short and to the point. I have everything done on my face except for my lashes. They are untouched, un like nothing is on them. I gave them a little bit of curler, a curler. I gave them a little bit of a curl with a lash curler, but uh, product wise, absolutely nothing. It will make it harder, more difficult, maybe impossible if you have mascara or product on your lashes. Make sure they're clean of any makeup or lash glue, what have you. Look y'all, I am obsessed. Foscara, so cute. And now we have a mirror. I'm dead, so cute, adorbs. Okay, so let's go right in. This is what we should be looking like right now. Let's begin. Take your lash applicator right here. You've got the applicator. Don't forget, you can use this side to kind of give the lashes a push. Do a little bit of separating. And this is actually, this is so cute. Look at those colors. The actual lashes and the bond and seal. Let's pull it right out. Actually, let me get a spoolie. Just a clean, unused spoolie. Okay, this uh, I got from Amazon. I will link these or something similar down below. Very inexpensive. And it's handy to have this on hand just for some lash separation. Now, we're gonna work in sections. So you're gonna use the bond as you would put it on like mascara. Very small spoolie, gonna be super easy to work with and work in sections. Uh, this stuff is sticky and it dries, so that's why I highly suggest to work in sections. And like I just said, this stuff is sticky. So the first thing that we're actually gonna do is take the seal side and we're just going to coat all over on the applicator. It's going to save you from a whole hot sticky mess, which will in turn save you from a lot of frustration. I hate sticky, hate that. So do that first, pro tip. It does not say do that on the box. This is just a pro tip that I learned, do it. You can take your applicator and pull your lashes using that, but I feel like the pads of your fingers work better and they're going to really really decrease the the chance of damaging those lashes if you just have a hold and give them a pull. I have used lash applicators to pull out lashes before and ripped them. Very upsetting. So working in sections, I'm gonna go start with the outer corner. 
And I'm going to go and get it as close to the root, on the root, as close as possible. Okay, so we look like this. Now I've got my lash in the applicator, and we're going to go underneath the lashes, not above, underneath. So it's much easier if we are, I hope y'all can see that, if we are looking up and placing it. This is where we can use this side and give it a good push just to make sure it's on there. Gonna give it a little tug and it's on. Boom. It's on. Just like that. <laughs> Look at the difference. Wow. Okay. So let's keep moving. We're going to go back in with the bond and go right beside the section we were just, what did I get on here? I cannot keep anything, clean. whatever. Going to go back in with the bond and work right beside the section we just did. I'm going to move quickly because I've got tips and tricks for like keeping them on or if you just want to take them off, like there's a lot to these. But not in a difficult way. There's just a lot that you should know. Again, pads on my fingers, pulling them off in the applicator, looking up, and going right next to where I just was. Look at that. And here is where you can take clean spoolie please make sure it's clean no product whatsoever and this is where you can just give it a brush make sure they are fluttery it's also going to ensure that they're on there good just kind of messing around with them and at any point you can go back in with your seal and recoat your applicator just to ensure that you're not going to have any sticky mess now let's keep going and if you notice, this actually darkens your lashes as well. So if you have lighter lashes, then you don't have to worry about the falscara not matching and it looking funny. Wow, look at that, amazing. Look at the difference. And look, this is one of my favorite parts of Falscara. Check this out. No lash band. No lash band. Same effect as lash extensions. I'm obsessed. That took no time at all. Man, I wish I would have clocked when I started this video. Oh my gosh. No time at all. In the comfort of my own home, eyes all have to be closed for hours like Oh my gosh, obsessed. Okay, let's zoom through this other eye. Oh, but don't forget also to test if you've got them on good and to kind of place them where you want. Don't forget you can use your spoolie, do a little movement, make sure they're perfect. And they actually do have falscara for your bottom lashes as well. So that's cool if that's something you're interested in. I'm not gonna do that today, but you see how easy it is. You have the time, I promise you. any stickiness and you can feel it firsthand when it starts to get sticky so you'll know when it's time to add more and really put it like all over on all sides I'm telling you it'll make her life so much easier of them are on empty plate look at that okay gorgeous so the lashes are on on my lower lashes I threw on just like my tried and true lower lash mascara from Mac so the lower lashes are normal but my uppers are the falscara lashes I am obsessing over them 
they are gorgeous now here's the part where I want you to pay attention this seal is what we're gonna put on next and that is going to lock it down for the day if you choose to do that and you just want to wear them for the day then I suggest that you get the lash purifier which is going to help remove these lashes at the end of the day whenever you're ready to take them off take a cotton pad throw this on there after giving it a good shake throw this on there and just hold it for 30 seconds or so and you can just gently pull down and you can see they slide right off no problems whatsoever so let's go ahead and seal these bad boys in it's a spoolie take your and make sure they're placed how you want them before you seal them because sealing them you're i mean you're sealing the deal literally like it says it's a seal sealing the deal so i'm just gonna go in starting at the root coating these lashes sealing everything in if you have a magnified mirror i would definitely highly suggest that you use it if you don't you can do it too but i'm telling you i can see everything and it makes it so much easier and my actual eyeballs are like thank you because i'm not poking them out you know so now we have sealed the deal these lashes are on for the day literally you're good to go you have on lash extensions you go do you sister you can either take your fingertips and give like a gentle tug or you can take a lash curler and press your natural lashes into your wisps and that will really help make everything look more seamless more flawless and just kind of give them that extra secure that they are on there now what i'm going to do is go in with this overnighter this is the product that's going to make these bad boys stay for up to 10 days tomorrow starts my work week i'm going in with this so that's going to really eliminate throwing on mascara every morning you know like it's just going to make my mornings easier this is what you need to make them stay up to 10 days the seal helps for a day this is 10 up to 10 falscara overnighter it is tinted and it's the same color as the lashes so it's going to make them look even more seamless and it goes on like an eyeliner you see that it is a brush a very thin brush so i'm going to seal the deal do the overnighter 10 days and i'm just going to go right along brushing it on very carefully brushing that on it doesn't burn but there's like a little like there's chemicals by my eye type feeling so you do like want to blink i try not to blink until like the brush is out of the way and the chemicals are placed now these are on and secured for up to 10 days like i'm stoked and look at how good they look i have lash extensions on and it took no time at all this whole procedure took literally less than less than 30 minutes and cost me 20 bucks oh well if you add on the overnighter excuse me let me let me not tell you wrong you can get the ultimate starter kit for 60 dollars you can get the Kiss Falscara Lengthening Lash Starter Kit, which comes with the Bond Seal, lots of wisps. You get the overnighter, the applicator, and it looks like a little lash purifier for $25. And you don't have to tip your stylist because you yourself are your stylist. You're going to fall in love, and when you do, don't forget you can get different styles and really, really play it up. And you don't have to do the up to 10 days thing. You can go glam, super vavoom, for you know date night girls night out whatever or you can do lighter for the everyday look i mean and you can mix and match do vavam on the outer corners and lighter on the inner corners and you've got a cat eye like that removing once again is super super easy it is gentle and i'm not saying that you have to use the kiss remover any eye makeup remover that is gentle 
that is made for removing makeup on the eyes will work. Just put it on a cotton pad, hold there for 30 seconds or so, and then just gently start pulling them off. And that's if you do the overnighter and if you just seal it. Do that process with either or that you choose. Also, some last minute tips and tricks. If you made it this far, you deserve to know, girl. Don't wash your face like you normally would. Scrub, scrub, scrub. No ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. What you're gonna do is go around these lashes they are lash extensions so treat them as if you just got them done at the salon try not to sleep you know with your face smushed in the pillow sleep up like you're in a coffin you know i don't know <laughs> don't splash your face or submerge your face in water like you would normally do i'm one of those where i cup the water and then psh, can't do that now so i'm just going to wash around take a cotton pad and remove eyeshadow that way Whole shebang shaboodle. Be careful with these because they are lash extensions as if you just got back from the salon. So treat them as so and they will last. They're gentle on your lashes. So you can use this and do this and do this and do this and you're not, you know, your lashes aren't going to fall out. Which is woo, one of the main reasons why, why I haven't gone to the salon to get this done. Because this process is so much more gentle. Yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Look at that. And my favorite part is no band. Like are you serious? Yes. Okay, I think I have covered a lot in just this little video. If I have missed something or you have a question, please drop it down below and I will, I read all the comments. I will respond to you. This is so worth the money and it's not even that expensive. This is drugstore. Thank you, kiss. We love you. Chef's kiss to y'all. <laughs> no pun intended. These are gorgeous. You guys are my rock stars. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.